What's going on everybody? Welcome back again to a brand new video. My name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to properly refill your Epson Workforce refillable cartridges. So before we get into this video, of course, there are three things I need y'all to do for me. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Number one, hit the link down below to subscribe to my channel. Secondly, hit the link down below in the description to join our Facebook group. Once you get in the group, we do things like giveaways. You can showcase your artwork. You can showcase your talent. Um, it's pretty much a community of people who do sublimation for a living or for a hobby. So just join the group. That'll be in the link down below. And last but not least, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of sublimation ink supplies for your business, just hit the link down below. It'll take you to our website where we can get everything packaged up and sent out to you. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So everything you see in front of you, this is what you will need to in this video to convert a Epson 7710, 7720 and a few more. And that includes all these printers on the back and a couple more like the 3640 and the 3620, but also like right here, the 7620, the 7720, the 7710, the 7610, and the 7210 and the 7110, if I'm not mistaken. So these three items, your syringes, your ink, and your refillable cartridges, all three of these items will be inside of this box, which is the conversion kit. However, let's say you already have some cartridges from somewhere, or you know, just one of these different items from somewhere else, like the ink or you know, the um the syringes, you can still get our cartridges if you just need the set of cartridges, or if you need each individual cartridge, you can be able to get each individual cartridge from the site and if you need the four pack just the four pack and you can get it from the site as well and it'll come in this little box so the first thing that we want to do is we want to take one of our uh, syringes right here I'm sorry our syringe right here with the needle that's right here our bottle of ink and one of our cartridges out so as soon as you take that out I already got it right here as soon as you take that out you're gonna pull this up take that syringe out take this needle out and attach it to the syringe all right these are gonna be non-sharp needles we did upgrade that because i didn't want anybody to you know hurt themselves at home so from here this is one of the uh cartridges you know this is the this is going to be the yellow cartridge and let's talk about these two plugs right here on the back. When it comes to refilling your cartridges, it's not necessarily about the color of the plug, it's more so about the location of the plug. This plug up here, the plug that is closest to the clip, and that'll be on various, um, various makes and models of cartridges, nine times out of 10, the plug up here that is closest to this clip that clips down into your printer, this is going to be your refill plug. The plug that is furthest away from the front, which in our case is this plug right here, this is going to be our ventilation plug. So even if you have, let's say this plug is not right here. Let's say this plug is back here somewhere. This plug is still gonna be the ventilation plug and then your next plug up is more than likely going to be your refill plug. And also, don't worry about the colors either. This plug, this is removable. All right, it may not look like it in the package, but once you get it, it's definitely removable. All right, so now that we covered this, let's try and push it back in there. All right, so now that we have covered this, the very first thing we want to do is take our bottle of ink. In this case, we're going to be doing the yellow cartridge. So we have to make sure we are putting the correct ink inside of that cartridge. So we're going to take our yellow sublimation ink. Take our needle and this is a 10 millimeter needle. But if you pull it all the way out, you can fit around 11 milliliters in here in the syringe. So you're just going to put it down in your bottle like so. Pull on the top. 
and fill up this needle. Once we got that done, we're gonna put our top back on. We're gonna take our cartridge and we're gonna pull this plug out, the plug that is furthest to the top. So I'm gonna take this plug out, the one that's furthest to the top towards the clip. We're gonna take our ink, put the needle inside, and we're gonna angle our needle to get down in there. You guys can see that on camera. See where the needle is almost down at the bottom in this corner right here? That's where you want to start refilling because you don't want to have, well, you want to have as minimal of uh, air bubbles as possible. So you're just going to load it nice and slow, keeping the ink down below the um, ink line, below the surface of the ink. And there you go. If we wanted to, we could definitely get some more, which is what I highly advise, getting some more ink and filling this up. So that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. So we're just gonna get a little bit more ink. We don't need that much because not that much room left. So this should be more than enough. And we're gonna put it back down at that angle, put it down underneath the ink, have your needle all the way down to the ink so no air bubbles will come up, and then fill it up like so. And when you're done filling this up, you wanna take your plug and you wanna put it back in right here. Then after that, this rear plug, this is for your ventilation. You must pull this out in order for your ink to uh, be pulled down into your printer head to print your ink on your paper. So you'll just remove this plug. And if you can't get this plug out, I'm gonna show y'all a little trick. If you can't get this plug out from your cartridge, that little hole right there, it is big enough for this needle to go inside that hole so you can kind of pry it open and then pull it out the rest of the way with your fingers. So from here, the rest of the ink that we didn't use, I'm gonna just push that back into the bottle. Put the top on. And there you have it. We have refilled our cartridge. So from here, you do have an additional option available, which is something that I definitely recommend. Um, if you don't wanna go through the hassle of running printer head cleanings and you know, just various printer hand cleanings just to get that ink to be pulled from down here because there's a piping system within the cartridge. If you want to get past that without having to do too many, you can just take your syringe, take this needle part off, once you take the needle part off, this part right here, you can push that into this plastic. And that's another thing, when you get these cartridges, this plastic that's around this edge right here, do not take that off, that must stay on. It will be punctured when you put this into your printer or when you go to purge this cartridge, which, was, which is what we're about to do. However, do not take that seal off by hand, it must stay on. So, now we're gonna take our syringe, we're gonna push it in the bottom, like so. And then we're just going to slowly pull our syringe to get the ink to come inside of the syringe. And just hold it for a second because it's going to be kind of hard when you're pulling on it. So there you go. It's now, uh, ink is not coming in. And then once you're done pulling, you're not gonna have any tension like that against this anymore. And you see how the ink, it just filled up in here and you got some air bubbles at the top. From here, we're just gonna slide this out, sit it down, open this top piece back up, put our needle back on our syringe, like so. And then that remainder of that ink that came out, we're gonna take that ink and we're gonna put it back into 
the cartridge so we don't really waste any ink and you see all those air bubbles they just disappear so once we do that put the plug back in and that's it <laughs> alright so we have completely um re not only just refill this cartridge we also purge this cartridge as well and this will save people a lot of time from running printer head cleanings and all that other stuff just to get the ink flowing through the piping system within the cartridge and coming out the bottom that's the main reason why it took so long when i was pulling on this syringe when it was on the bottom of the cartridge cartridge and put inside the reason it was taking so long is because there is an internal piping system throughout the cartridge in which the ink has to travel through in order for it to come out the bottom piece right here. So once that ink started coming out and there was a proper amount filled within the syringe, everything became stable and there was no more pressure or anything like that. So that's how I know the line inside is completely full of ink so that is it that pretty much wraps up this entire video and like i said before you all leave please 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 there are three things i need y'all to do for me hit the subscribe button down below after that hit the link down below in the description to join our facebook group we have one of the biggest and fastest growing sublimation groups on facebook so be be sure to join that and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation ink supplies um just hit the link down below in the description it'll take you to our website we'll have everything packaged up and shipped out um almost immediately all right monday through friday we working so that's pretty much it. All right. I will see you all in the very next video. Thank you all for tuning in and low out.